Hey guys, what's up? It's your man Pete and it's another episode of Selling Toronto. And today we're going to be talking about the legalization of marijuana and how it positively affects the Toronto real estate market. Any real estate market for that matter that has legal weed. So we'll talk a little bit more about that right after this guys. October 17th of this year, marijuana or weed as the kids call it, became officially legal to purchase online here in Ontario. All you have to prove is that you're 19 years old, you can grow up to four plants in your place of residence, and not only will you not get in trouble for it if you get caught right now for it or in the future, but even retroactively. For the government's part, it was a genius plan to bring in more revenue for the country. And in fact, legalizing marijuana was such a great idea that even the opposition party said if they do ever come in power they will not reverse the legalization of marijuana because the money is just too good for the government so it's safe to say that weed is here to stay folks and it ain't going anywhere but let's get into my thoughts on how I think this is going to affect the real estate market here in the city and how this will create many new jobs industry and maybe even revive some that are on the brink of extinction so without further ado here are my top five reasons why weed is great for real estate number one grow houses. I know, I know, this form of illegal growing has actually stopped for some time, but during the 90s and the 2000s, this was actually a very big business here in the GTA, where growers and gangsters would literally purchase or rent homes in quiet suburban neighborhoods and start turning them into weed growing factories. And not only was this dangerous for the growers and the neighborhoods, but they would also damage the homes beyond repair. And there's always a clause in the agreement of purchase and sale whenever we do deals for our clients. To sell needs to verify or confirm that this house was never used as a grow up because the intense heat and the flammable fertilizer and of course the humidity good god the humidity damages these houses way beyond repair and even if they do get remediated they will always have the stigma of being a grow house as an agent who represents buyers and sellers in this market i have to say good riddance thank god that we don't have to deal with these types of grow houses anymore because it's just nonsense and it destroys perfectly good homes for people especially in this super expensive market that we're in in toronto number two safer communities what people don't know is that weed and marijuana is actually the largest illegal drug trade especially in the u.s and it's marijuana that actually made a legend out of el chapo not the hard drugs like coke and heroin it was weed. So the very direct effect of legalizing weed is you're chopping a very important revenue limb off of organized crime, which depends on selling illegal drugs to sustain themselves. And the hope is that this will reduce gang activity here in the city, because maybe these criminals will sit around smoking this legal reefer thinking, hmm, it's pretty hard to make money as a criminal now. Maybe I should start thinking about other avenues of entrepreneurship. So I hope this will lead to a direct effect on lower crime activity, safer neighborhoods, which is always better for real estate. Number three, commercial retail. Retail is a very important part of the commercial real estate market. I think there's an incredible opportunity here and I'm beginning to see commercial listings that say cannabis friendly. So if you're interested in running a cafe or a lounge that serves cannabis, although I know it's not legal, you can't get a license until the spring of 2019, but I can imagine it now if you were to offer an exceptional experience selling some of the best chocolates from Europe, or the sweetest kombucha drinks from South America, or some exotic teas from some deep African jungle. And not only is this a great opportunity to tap into the local market of smokers here, we're going to be attracting a lot of tourists that want to visit and taste the different flavors of marijuana that we have here as well which in turn brings more money into the local economy number four places to chill okay not a lot has changed here people were smoking and chilling in their houses for hundreds of years but now that home prices and even rental prices have gotten more expensive it's eating into people's budget so they may not have as much money to be able to spend on entertainment so what's one of the best and cheapest ways to entertain yourself smoke a doobie and chill and watch netflix at home which is quite possibly the cheapest form of entertainment you can find maybe even cheaper than drinking alcohol number five convenience store comeback okay i'm only speculating here thinking that every smoker has munchies all right but running or owning a convenience store in an area where there's a lot of people who smoke could be a great boon for business because you can virtually charge whatever you want for the 
convenience. And if you want to start thinking a little more innovatively, then maybe you can start thinking about a delivery service for snacks, drinks, or maybe even weed. Who knows? Maybe you can call it Uber weed or something. I don't know. But there you have it, guys. This video is just complete speculation and conjecture on my part. But I'm just trying to think a little bit more positively about what the opportunities are here and how this big industry is going to change everything in the economy, not just real estate. But I think if you're a business person or an entrepreneur or even an investor, there may be some interesting opportunities to get into here, especially in the experiences space. Where you're letting people come in to just chill and hang out and lounge and maybe network with other people who also smoke. And it's certainly a very social activity. It'll be very interesting to see how this is going to play out in the next couple of years, but I think there are some opportunities abound if you're the entrepreneurship type. Make sure to give me a call if you're interested in finding a space for a cannabis lounge or any other type of weed related business. I would be happy to help out. So until next time guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on the bottom. Leave me some positive comments. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Don't you panic, let me inside it, I go bomb. It's a